Yo, what up guys, Horcrux here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days or been streaming, been busy with the move and such, but today is a big announcement. Microsoft buys out Bethesda slash Zenimax. You can see all the games that coincide with it. Long story short, everyone's happy about moving to the Microsoft family, yada yada. Microsoft is just the bomb.com, to be honest. They have a lot more money to play around with. So what's to say for you? So it's hard telling. Um, if you want to look over uh, the official statements and all that, you can just go to uh, Bethesda Studios on their homepage. There's a link to it. Uh, you can read through it yourself. The purchase was for $7.5 billion uh, that they dropped on this. Um, in my opinion, uh, this, this is probably one of the best things that could ever happen to Elder Scrolls if you're a fan. If you're a fan of all the others, cool. But for Elder Scrolls in particular, they're having a massive amount of issues with server performance and quite simply put they don't have the money nor the funds to go about it so they just band-aid it up as much as possible hence all the aoe tests i'm gonna go off on a bit of a rant just for a second the whole aoe test is a complete waste of time you want to know how to fix the servers you need to fix the population density in certain areas of the map how do you fix the population density in certain areas of the map well you provide more incentive for solo or small group play ESO is all about zerging. I swear to God, I, I I'll stream for four or five hours. I usually get zerged down probably ninety percent of my deaths. Uh, there's just no incentive to play by yourself. Zero incentive. You actually get punished for it. There's zero incentive really for playing in super small groups. So, with that being said, if you want to fix these servers a cheap way, just incentivize smaller group play, or shit, just ban it completely. You can't have over like a size eight group size or so, no, they're suggesting a size 12 but i think it needs to be even smaller than that to be honest but i digress todd howard our lord and savior so uh they've been with the company for fucking ever as you guys know and um i'll let you guys read through this outcast goes into this much more in depthly than this is going to be he has like an hour long video on it well maybe an hour right half an hour something like that but well, he reads through all this uh long story short um, nothing is for sh certain yet, um, but it is in good hands with Microsoft Studios. Uh, just thank God it wasn't uh, someone else, <laughs> like EA or, or something dumb. Just, just, just glad it's Microsoft. So hopefully they'll dump a lot of money into this game because Elder Scrolls is a diamond in the rough, in my opinion. This game has so much potential; it appeals to everyone. The combat system is wonderful. The only thing wrong with this game is, of course, you know, balancing issues, obviously, and server performance. And that just boils down to having the manpower and the funds to fix it. And maybe this is a step in the correct direction. Um, we'll see in the months to come. But uh, this has been Horcrux. Thank you so much for listening. I will be streaming today. I'm moving some stuff into the new house. Uh, I'll get around to it sometime today. Not sure when. So. If you want to be around for that, please hit the notification, like button, subscribe, unsubscribe, doesn't really matter. Thank you for watching. Bye.